In this presentation, I would like to take a look at the control bracket, the linkages, the gaskets, and the carburetor, and how they are assembled on the two styles of Honda GCV 160 engines. So before we get started, it's important to note there are a myriad of different control bracket setups for your Honda GCV style engines. There are auto choke setups, there are auto throttle setups that almost have like a actuator for the throttle, there are manual cable setups, and there are fixed throttle setups that go along with those. So it's very important before you take this apart to document, you know, use your phone or what have you, to take some pictures so that you can get this put back together correctly. If all else fails, you will need to consult the Honda service manual for your specific engine. So the two that we're gonna take a look at in this particular presentation will be the throttle style with a choke built into the throttle. In other words, something like a lawnmower engine with a single throttle that would include choke along with the throttle and the stop function. And the other style that we'll take a look at would be something like a fixed throttle application with a manual choke. So no auto choke in this particular presentation. It's a little bit beyond uh, the engines that we have here at the high school. So let's take a look at the expectations for this lab. So this lab setup, uh, the hands-on portion anyway, has two separate components to it. Uh, component number one is document the location of the following. So there's a portion where you're gonna make a drawing and answer some questions that is in the lab sheet posted to Google Classroom. And the second portion is documenting the orientation and the location of the gaskets. So one part, part one, is how is the setup assembled? And the second part is where exactly is each particular gasket positioned and which way does it face? So we wanna look at the throttle setup, we wanna look at the governor arm setup, we wanna look at the choke setup. All of that is a little bit different depending on which particular engine you chose at the beginning of the year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get over to the engine. All right, so taking a look at what we have here on the fixed control bracket, in other words, there is no throttle. So our governor speed control spring is simply attached to the control bracket with one hole up here, and then they are typically installed in the lower speed hole. If I were to move this spring to this hole here, the engine would run significantly faster. You may or may not want that uh, depending on your application. So uh, over here on the top of the governor arm, and again, the spring is pretty much universal as far as how it is installed, uh, no matter what type of control bracket you actually have on your specific engine. The spring itself is unique to the serial number of the engine because different control brackets will spec a different length spring in my experience. Up here on the top, and again, these are all installed the same way. You have a large hole and you have a smaller hole, and there is a linkage tension spring. This little spring here that's installed in the small hole really is there to take the slop out of this connection and the connection up at the carburetor. So they're all installed this way. Some of these linkages may have a kink in them, and they all have a bend. Uh, in them that is actually normal. You need to be careful when you take this off. So the real differences at this point are how this spring here is attached to the control bracket. If you have a throttle, we'll take a look at that one here in a little bit, and which hole that that guy is connected into. The main differences are gonna take place at the carburetor. So up here at the carburetor, you'll notice that heavy linkage um, that's installed, which is actually for the throttle, is installed in the larger hole. There are two different sized holes on the throttle side here of the carburetor. And yes, it is perfectly normal for the governor to hold the throttle wide open when the engine isn't running. You'll also notice a flat spot or that kink that I was talking about earlier uh, in the linkage. That is installed 
on the carburetor side. So you can install a linkage backwards and have it work as long as you've calibrated the governor. Um, and then this little tension spring actually slides over the linkage uh, here, this heavy duty one. So these two kind of overlap each other. The spring slides over this particular linkage. Let's take a look at the choke. So taking a look at the choke, you're gonna notice, it's a little bit hard to illustrate here, but the hole, uh, the choke, by the way, is the black piece. Let's actuate that real quick. That's the choke end of the carburetor, obviously. Uh, on all of the manual choke additions of this engine, this hole that is closest to the engine, if you will, is left open. On all of the integrated choke setups, with the exception of auto choke, that's got a completely different carburetor, uh, the choke linkage will go in this hole. So if you have the pull type choke mechanism, your choke needs to install in the hole closest to the air box, if you will. All right, so next up we have the throttle type uh, setup for this engine. And there's typically a throttle cable mounted here, and then that actuates the choke, which is what the spring over here is for and it sets the speed of the engine. You can actually see the governor arm move as we actuate the throttle. So uh, again, uh, the governor speed control spring is gonna be loose and floppy. Uh, a lot of folks question, hey, did I install this correctly when it has this amount of movement? And the answer actually is yes, because if you open the throttle, you'll notice that your governor arm is, is now correctly tensioned. So there's actually, a little spot right here where this spring attaches and then we attach it of course into the first hole the top here on the governor arm is the same with the thick linkage going into the bigger hole and then the little tension spring that's a little bit bent up on this engine uh, going into the smaller one notice we do not have a choke the choke is actuated by pulling the throttle back beyond the typical run position Moving on to the choke, which is the only difference really as far as how the carburetor is hooked up, you'll notice the hole closest to the engine block is populated and that the choke linkage lever is significantly shorter. So you notice you get a full sweep when you actuate the lever. This is the difference between the throttle addition of this engine and the you know, manual choke addition. That should definitely be noted on your sheet depending on the type of engine that you have. This has been a look at the throttle and the linkage and the governor setups for the two styles of Honda GCV 160 engines that we currently use at the high school.